Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Miss. Hi, good hey, evening. how are you? How are you this Thursday? Thursday night. Good, good. Everything good? Are you ready for tomorrow? Friday. Aha, uh -huh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Happy because tomorrow is Friday. You don't work tomorrow. Nobody works tomorrow. Independence Day, holiday. Don't yes. work tomorrow. You work? Yes. 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 Everybody work? All right. Oh, we have to work, yes. <laughs> All right. Welcome, Nevi. We have Sandra Margarita, Emilia, Blanca. Welcome. Melba Patricia. Who else we have? We have... <laughs> Yes. All right. Welcome, girls. We are going to continue. Remember that yesterday we started with the form here of sports. We saw sports and we were discussing about the sports that you like, the ones that you practice. But now let's see, what the sports do you, uh, do you watch? Because there are some of the cases that we practice, but in other cases, we only like to watch on TV or on your cell phone, on any other device. Yes, Nevi, any sport that you only like to watch? Mm. Uh, watching TV. Uh -huh. But the sport, the sport that you like. Ah, sport. Uh, Maybe sport and watching the soccer. Ah, so you like to watch soccer. And do you like ah, to play? Pero verlo, verlo, no jugarlo. No playing it, but you like. No, verlo, so you have a watching, favorite? Watching it. Only watching it. So Fast. you have a favorite team? <laughs> Santa Ana Fast. <laughs> Fast is your favorite one. Okay, that's yes. nice. What about you, Emilia? What? About, about Emilia? Eh, de los juegos. Uh -huh. Any sport that you like to watch? Ninguno, no juego, no me tiempo. No. You don't practice it by watch? No. No. No, any of them. No me queda tiempo. You don't have the time. Okay. <laughs> what about Sandra? Sandra Margarita? <laughs> Do you watch any sports? Sandra Margarita, are you here? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Do you watch any sport on TV? Um... I like to watch people hiking. Ah, people hiking. Ah, yes, that's very interesting and funny sport too when people fall down, right? <laughs> that's yeah. crazy when they fall down. <laughs> right. What about you, Kevin? Welcome, Kevin. Hi, Miss. Hey, boy. How are you? Uh, fine, thank you. Very good to know that. <clears throat> We're talking about the sport that you like to watch. Yeah, I like watch. I like to watch. Yeah. I like to watch uh, tennis. To watch tennis. Okay. Yes. That's nice. Yeah, that's right. Good. What about, let's see, Judy. Judy, welcome. Hello. Hello, Judy. How are you? How are you? I'm very I'm fine. <laughs> You're fine. Good to know that. <laughs> We're talking about the sport that you like to watch on TV. What are the sports you like to watch? Um, ¿Cuál es el que practico? O, o... Uh, no, the one that you watch. Or maybe you ah, okay. practice and you watch. You like to ah, watch okay. too. Okay. El que veo um, basketball. You watch basketball? Okay. Do mm -hmm. you have a favorite mm -hmm. team? Mm, no tengo así como que... A favorite. Lakers. Mm, sí, the Lakers? Sí, sí the los Lakers. The Lakers, yes. you like them? Okay, nice. Yes, yes, they, yes. They have a very good team, good players. Right, good. Thank yes. you, Blanca. What about you? What sports do you practice or, or watch? Es, es solo ver, watch, watch, watch. watch. Uh -huh. es, uh, I like uh, watch. Uh, I like to soccer. watch. You like to watch soccer. Do you have a favorite team? Perdón. Do you have a favorite team? Un equipo favorito? 
A favorite uh, city? Sí, Barcelona. Yes, Barcelona. Barcelona. Okay, that's your favorite one. All right, that's good. <laughs> oh, Aaron is also from Barcelona, right? He's a fan. <laughs> Welcome, Aaron. How are you? Good night, teacher. Hey, good evening. Talking about the sports. Continue talking about it. What is the sport that you practice? I don't remember which one you said. What sport do you practice, Aaron? Soccer, basketball, volleyball, swimming. Oh. Okay. Cualquier, cualquier. But the one that you practice, el que usted practica, the one that you practice. Maybe soccer, maybe basketball. Football. Okay. Uh, in the in the summer, uh, people. No, but you. Play you. El, soccer. El que usted practica. You. Oh, in the uh -huh. summer. El que usted in the practica. summer, I play. Uh -huh. In the summer, I play uh, soccer. Soccer. Okay, you play it. And do you watch on TV? Yes, yes. Um, um, I watch uh, a, of Liga Nacional. National. Ah, interesting. That is of soccer too. Nice. Thank you. What about you? Let's see, Glenda. Glenda Guadalupe. Glenda, are you here? Melba Patricia? Melba? Sí. Hello. What sport do you like? Um, basketball. Basketball? Okay. And do you watch on TV? Do you watch basketball on TV? Um, no. No? Ningún... no. You don't watch it? All right. Good. What about you? Let's see. Evelyn? Are you here, Evelyn? Hi, Evelyn. Oh, she's connecting right now. Evelyn, are you here? Yes, teacher. Hello, welcome, Evelyn. How are you? Thank you. Fine. You? I'm fine. Thank you for asking. We'll continue talking about sports, but the sports that you watch on TV. Evelyn? Sorry, sorry, teacher. I I don't understand. That any sport that you watch on TV, maybe you watch basketball, soccer, swimming, but you watch on TV. Ah, okay, I got it. Um, only soccer. Only soccer. Do you like it? Do you have a favorite team? Yes. Yeah. Which Which is your favorite? Sorry? What is your favorite team? Ah. Ah, um, Argentina, hey. um, Italy, only that. Only those ones. Okay, that's nice. So when it's the World Cup, you are always watching them, right? <laughs> to see yeah. them. That's good. Okay, we have this one. Now, let's go ahead on another thing. We have, what sports do you like? We were investigating about it yesterday. We continue about that. But now let's listen about simple present with WH questions. And we're going to have also a practice of conversation. We're going to watch the video. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer simple present WH questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? 
What sports do you like? Hmm. Hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Do you play sports or watch a lot of sports? Now I would like to show you how to form simple present WH questions. Let's start by analyzing the chart on the screen. Simple present WH questions. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. The goal of using WH questions is to obtain more detailed information from someone. In this case, we want to know everything about the person's response, I play baseball. So we ask, what sports, who, where, how often, when, what time? In order to form simple present WH questions, we can follow this next formula. WH word plus do or does plus the subject plus the verb plus some kind of complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions now. In the example, where do you play? The WH word is where. Then we add the auxiliary verb do. After that, we add the subject you. Next, we add the verb play. Finally, we add the complement. In this case, we don't have a complement because from our previous question and answer, we understand that we're talking about baseball. There's one particular question that I would like to point out. Who do you play baseball with? This type of question may sound a little strange in some languages because of the location of the words who and with. So I would like to explain the following. We can ask this question in two ways. The most common in American English is who do you play baseball with? The other way is by saying, with whom do you play baseball? It's not very common, but it's correct and formal to express yourself like this. So to understand the question, who do you play baseball with? Let me write a quick formula. Who plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus noun plus with. As the example shows, we start our question with who. Next, we put an auxiliary verb, do. After that, the subject, you. Next, we need to add the verb and noun, play baseball. I would like to point out that sometimes it's not necessary to add a noun, just the verb so we can easily say, who do you play with? without adding baseball. Finally, we add with and the question mark. Now it's your turn to practice making simple present WH questions. If possible, practice with the partner and practice asking and answering the questions. You may ask about sports or fun activities or whatever comes to your mind. The goal is to practice as much as possible. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Right? You could observe there that on the video, you saw many of the questions that you can use to practice and investigate. All it depends what you want to know.
Now, let's practice the conversation. This one is, I love sports. This was, is between Lauren and Justin. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Imagine, he loves sports and he doesn't practice. He only likes to watch. You see, so it's very different, right? Sometimes we prefer to watch the sports, but we don't like to play them. Well, it depends, right? Sometimes we don't have the sufficient time to play, but maybe to watch on television, yes. So let's practice it. We are going to start here. Aaron, you are the first one. Start, please. The first line. First line. Uh -huh, the first line. So, Justin. So, Justin, what do you what do you do in your free free time? Free time, more fluent, más fluido. You can do it. So, Justin. So, Justin, what do you what do you in your free time? What do you do? What do you do in your free time? What do you do in your free time? Very good job. Nice. You did it. Continue. Well, I love sports. Very good. Nice. Lanka, continue. Really? <laughs> really? What sport do you like? Really nice. Yes. Melba. Melba Patricia. Are you present, Melba? Um, no puedo juntar well, la foto. Hockey, uh, um, hockey, bas baseball, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Very good, nice, Emilia. Whoa, whoa, you are really your your contraction. You, your you are really a really good a really good athlete. Continue. When? when do you play all these all these sports? This is sport. That's good. More fluent. Más fluido. You can do it. Wow. Wow. Your your I your a really a really good is in the sequence. Athlete. 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 When do you play all all all, all cheese this this. It's <laughs> this is for are you hungry? You say cheese? You're hungry, <laughs> tene hambre, right? You're <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. Juan. Juan Alberto, continue, please. Oh. Oh. I don't play this sport. I just watch the team on television. Them. I just watch them on television. I just watch. I just watch. I just watch them on television. That's right. Good one. Okay, let's start the game. Maybe continue. So, Justin. Justin, what do you do in, the, in your free time? Free time. Free time. Free time. One more time. Repeat it. So, Justin. So, Justin, what do you do in, the, in your free time? Very good. Sandra Margarita, continue. Well, I love sports. Really good. Rafael, continue. Really, what sport do you like? Do you like? Do you like? One more time, repeat it. Really? Really. What sport do you like? Very good. Continue, Fernando. Mm, hockey, baseball, hockey? And hockey? hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Really good. Evelyn. Whoa, you're a really good athlete. Athlete, athlete. Athlete. Continue. Wait. One more time. One more Wait. time, yes. Okay. Whoa, wow. you're a really good athlete. Good. When do you play all the sports? Very good job. Nice. Kevin. Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. On television, that's correct. Really good, guys. Nice. Do you have new vocabulary? New vocabulary here?
And question, Miss. Yes, tell me. Porque en la primera oración, en la pregunta, está, do you do? Mm -hmm. Because in this one, my auxiliary is do. En Correct. la primera, do es nada más mi auxiliar para presentar. ¿Y, ¿Y el otro do? Y el otro do es el verbo. Esta es mi acción. ¿Qué haces? Ah. ¿Qué haces en tu tiempo libre? So, a veces ah. se van a topar esos dos, pero uno trabaja como auxiliar y el otro, y el otro va como a ser verbo. Siempre Ajá. se va a saber que el primero va acompañado del sujeto, va a ser el auxiliar es y el siguiente después del sujeto es el verbo. Is the action, correct. Because here you can also ask what do you cook? What do you play in your free mm -hmm. time? Mm -hmm. What do you play in summer? What do you play in winter? Mm -hmm. So you can modify this verb. Este verbo, o sea, el, el segundo sí lo puedo modificar. Pero el primero no, porque es presente simple. Ahora, uh -huh. si es otro tiempo, sí, ¿verdad? Mi auxiliar me va a cambiar. Uh -huh. O si es tercera persona. Si fuera tercera persona, sería das. Okay. Like, Thank what you. does, you're very welcome. What does your sister do in her free time? That will be third person. It will be different manner, right, to, to investigate it. Now, let's check. We are going to practice here. Fair work. We are going to formulate this question. What do you do in your free time? Judy Edith, tell me. What do you do in your free time? You can say, I play basketball, I swim, I cook, I go to the park. Um, para decir... Es que generalmente en el tiempo libre pues paso con mi familia, ¿verdad? haciendo actividades ah, con mi familia, okay. con mis niños. Entonces, para decir... Um, Then you can say like this. Paso tiempo con mi familia. I spend, familia. Uh -huh, I spend time with my family. I, I spend time with, with my, my family. family. Say, paso tiempo con mi familia. I repeat this. I spend time with my family. Mm -hmm. I spend That's, time with, with my, my family. family. Good. Okay, let's repeat yes, it. Yes. What do you do in your free time, Judith? I spend time with my family. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Now okay. let's see. Miss. Uh, yes, tell me. Entonces esta palabra spend es como el verbo pasar. Pasar, de, pero, que, pero de pasar que... tiempo, de compartir tiempo. Pero wow. ese spend, si hablamos de dinero, es gastar dinero. I spend money. Depende del yo complemento. Gasto ah, yo gasto dinero. O utiliza dinero. Porque este spend no es eh, gastar como de desperdiciarlo. Porque de desperdiciarlo sería waste. Waste money. Ese sí es botar el dinero, desperdiciarlo. Pero gastar waste dinero. Waste es el verbo gastar. De gastar, desperdiciarlo, pero de desperdiciarlo. Pero si utilizo el verbo spend, es que uno utiliza el dinero, ¿verdad? I spend money in food. I spend money in bills. Eh, pagar recibos, en comida. Eso ahí ya no es desperdiciarlo, es utilizarlo. Es como, utiliza, como utilizarlo. ¿va? Utilizarlo, ajá, correct. Pero si ya es desperdiciarlo, botarlo, es waste. Waste, waste money. Ajá, correct. Okay. That's waste money. Okay. Teacher. You're very welcome. Tell me. Y en el caso de, si sí, la, la comparación, no sé si puede hacer con esta misma palabra, eh, despilfarrar. Es waste. Ajá, es el mismo contexto. Despilfarrarlo, botarlo, desperdiciarlo. Was, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Waste. waste. Waste money. Waste money. Do you waste money? Malgastar, despilfarrar. Malgastas. Exacto. Mm -hmm. Ok, thank you, Miss. Pero no lo vea, Miss. <risa> no vea, Aaron. Do you waste no, money? No, no, yo. O todo, hombre, todo hombre de hogar, yo llevo lista así en el supermercado. Yo lo primero, ya de un vuelto oh, un poco el churrito, la cerveza. A la end. O sea, ya, ya, ya. He ya buys no beer. Vea, no. A the end. Cuando sea quieren? grande, seré como usted, Aaron. Hermano, <risa> seré como usted, llevar el lista al súper. Ajá, uh -huh, yes. Sí, yes, no, yo sí. De, dicen, ¿verdad? Vaya en selectos. Go to sele ah, you, do you work in select? El trabajo, yo creo que ahí trabaja. Do you receive a commission? No, 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 no. no. <risa> Trabajé. 
You used to work, right? You used to work in Super Selectos. Ah, okay, that's good. So that is the concept. If you say just I use the money, then I spend money. Then if I use the money sure. in a bad manner, it's waste. It's waste money. But if it's spend time, ya no es gasto mi tiempo, ¿verdad? Con mi familia, ¿no? Yo paso tiempo con mi familia. Comparto tiempo con ellos. Sí, y, esa, yes, y, esa pregunta, y esa pregunta se podrá hacer, valga la redundancia, más corta. Porque o sea, se escucha, se escucha what demasiado la, what, la, esta, what do you do in your free time? What happened is that this one is necessary. Esta es necesaria porque si no, no sabemos. Eh, si eliminamos el auxiliar sería como eh, informal. What you do? que a veces se utiliza, pero no es correcto en, gra en gramática. Y el verbo también es necesario, si no, no sabe eh, uh -huh. eh, a, a qué acción yo me estoy refiriendo. What do you in your free time? Está incompleto. What do you play? What do you cook? O sea que en ese caso sí nos vamos a encontrar con ese, ese escenario ah, que mencioné, de, 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 de toparnos con ese doble, ah, esa doble palabra. In verb. Ajá. Auxiliar en verbo, okay. uno trabaja como auxiliar y el otro es mi verbo. Esa es la acción, la acción okay. que, se, que se está conjugando. Entonces, acá sí es necesaria, aquí sí ya no se puede acortar. Ok, thank you, Miss. You're very welcome. Ok, now let's continue formulating questions. Nevi, you formulate the questions to, to Kevin. What do you do in your free time? Ok, Kevin, what do you do in your free time? In my free time, sometimes play sports. I play sports. For example, I play sports. For example, football, tennis, mm -hmm. and sometimes basketball. Sometimes basketball. Okay, you have you practice variety. You good? Good athletic. Is he's a good athlete, right? That's why he says here. Wow, you're a really good athlete. <laughs> practice a lot of disciplines. That's es que mucho nice. tiempo practiqué solo un deporte, entonces ya después fue como que you me aburrí el mismo y, used to. Ajá, y comencé. Estás acostumbrado. You are used to it. That's good, right? To, to have, to create the forms there of the disciplines. Very important for the health. Okay, let's check something else here. We have the different WH questions here. Let's see here. Simple present with WH questions. And we got examples. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. When you have the question, who, and in the end you have with, you investigate like the person that you practice so that you don't practice alone. No solitary, but you practice with another person or with other persons. Who do you play baseball with? Or quien? Or quien juega? Right? Now, the next one is about the place. Where do you play? Now, it's area. We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. Once, it means one time. And twice, it refers to two times. Once, una vez, twice, dos veces. So we have a frequency here, a specific frequency. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. We have a specific occasion or day. What time do you start? A specific hour. We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. So they have a specific hour that they practice. Now, if you observe here, we have in the structure, we have the WH words, you have auxiliary, can be do or does, that depends on the subject. You have the verb in the base form because you have auxiliary. Then in the case of the noun is because you include the sport, but it's not necessary. You can also say, who do you play with? Where do you play? How often do you play or do you practice? Question with the structure? Miss? Yes, tell me. Maybe? Perdón, Miss. Eh, en me. el caso de que estemos preguntando con quiénes, 
Uh -huh. Entonces siempre va a ir with al final. No necessarily. You can work like this. Uh -huh. It can be like this. Another manner that you can ask is this form. Can Porque also las, ask. La segunda pregunta está diciendo con quién, ¿verdad? Juega basketball. Uh, exactly. You can also ask. Imagine that you are going to include a place. Who do you play? Who do you play in soccer. basket or soccer? Okay, let's include another soccer. one. Who do you play soccer with at, at the stadium? This is the same question. Oh, no. But here you have, who do you play soccer with at the stadium? The complement is the area. El complemento es el área, pero también puede ser así. Who do you play? No, no precisamente personas, sino que a dónde también. Exactly. Uh -huh. It can be like that, but no with. Aquí ya no va a llevar with, ¿verdad? Porque with uh -huh. es, eh, uh -huh. investiga con quién, compañía. Pero ya where ya no llevaría ese with. A menos que no investigue eso, sino que solo vaya ese with como complemento. So another case here will be like, who do you play soccer? At the stadium, yes, stadium with. This is another case, another manner. So with is not necessary, it has to go at the end. I say with no necesariamente tiene que ir al final. Who do you place uh, soccer at the stadium with? The other one that is more formal, uno que es más formal, es utilizarlo así. With whom? Do you play soccer? Solo que acá ya no va a ir who, sino que va a llevar whom, with whom, con quién. Aquí ya utilizamos la preposición, que es with, y whom es un WH, pero este porque se refiere con quién. Si decimos con quién es porque eh, en alguien recae una acción. Yo realizo una acción con alguien. Entonces este whom, Sería mi WH word. Y el with es la preposición que va, iría junto. Pero es más común utilizarlo de esta forma, separando WH con la preposición. Es más común, aunque es informal, pero se ha vuelto más popular utilizarlo. Y esta es más formal. With whom? With whom do you play soccer? With whom do you cook lasaña? With whom do you swim in the pool? With whom do you practice tennis? So it can be different manners here. Is that clear? Questions? Uh, yo tengo una pregunta. Tell me. En el caso de how long, ¿Cómo ah. se utiliza? How long is when you investigate like the period or the duration of the activity. Ahí investigamos la duración de la actividad. How long? How long do you practice swimming? ¿Por cuánto tiempo practica natación? And then you can say the duration like this. I... I practice swimming for two hours, for example. Lo practico por dos horas, for two hours. Este me indica la duración de la actividad. ¿Por cuánto tiempo? Thank you. You're very welcome. Yo Any tenía una question? pregunta. Tell este, me, Billy. Eh, para las dos posibles, este... De. Who do who? you? With whom? Este, with whom? ¿Cómo serían las. With whom? ¿Cómo serían las respuestas? ¿Siempre serían similares? O... Eh, ajá, it's the same answer. La respuesta siempre va a ser la misma porque el contexto no cambia. Uh, ajá, siempre uh, investiga lo mismo. So the answer will be: ¿What possibility could be here? Eh, who do you play soccer at the stadium with? I play soccer at the stadium with my friends, for example. 
with my friends. It's the same answer. Misma respuesta porque no cambia. El mensaje no cambia. Solo cambia oh, okay. la, la estructura. La estructura de la pregunta. Ajá, la estructura de la pregunta. ¿Qué puede, qué puede variar? Okay. Thank you, Miss. You're very welcome. Any other question? Yes, teacher. Yes, tell me. Eh, en, la, en la pregunta, how, no sé cómo se pronuncia, how often, no sé how si often? Estoy, lo estoy mencionando correctamente. Uh -huh. You can say how, how often or how often. How. How often. How often do you practice? How often do you practice? Mm -hmm. Ok, la respuesta, eh, eh, no me quedó muy claro lo que mencioné anteriormente. Uh, what do you mean? In this one? Se refiere sí, a eso. Sí, sí, sí. So, con once, relación a eso. Once sí. or twice a week. This is sí. frequency. Este es de frecuencia, como cuando mencionábamos always, the, like the adverse of frequency. Do you remember? Always, sometimes, never, hardly ever. Solo que los adverbios de frecuencia son una manera como más generalizada para referirnos a, a la frecuencia. Pero estas de acá son frequency expression. Una frequency expression me indica una, una frecuencia más específica, más atinada a la cantidad de veces. Porque acá indica once, una vez. Una vez, ya sabemos que esa es una única cantidad. Una vez a la semana. O dos veces a la semana. So, este es más específico, pero indica una frecuencia. Y en este caso, eh, cuando decimos one... Once, 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 or twice, or twice, or twice, twice. One, one or, or dos veces, one or twice, or twice, a week, a week, una o dos veces a la semana. So hay una cantidad más específica que decir sometimes. Okay, perfecto. O sea que no va, a ser, no va a ser muy frecuente esa respuesta. Ajá, todo depende de, de la frecuencia en el que uno practique la actividad. Because it can be every day, también puede ser todos los días. For example, if you say, eh, how often do you take a shower? I take a shower every day. Se puede decir, we, pray, we practice every day. We practice every day. We practice English every day. We practice swimming. Uh, twice a week. We play baseball three times a week. Or we always uh, play baseball. So, depende de, de la frecuencia y como nosotros lo queramos expresar. Okay. Thank you, Miss. Bye, pleasure. Any other question? With WH questions? Question. No? Let's continue then. We're going to pass the list. So tell me present, please. All right, let's start. Aaron. I am here. Remember you say, yes, saw you there. Thank you, Aaron. Alba Marisol. Present. Thank you, Alba. Blanca Rosa. Present. Yes, I saw you there. Thank you, Blanca. Elmer Edenilson. Elmer Edenilson. Evelyn Yesenia. Present, Miss. Thank you, Evelyn. Fernando. Fernando de Jesús. Present. Thank you, Fernando. Glenda Guadalupe. Present. Thank you, Glenda. Present, Miss. Fernando, right? No, Elmer. Elmer, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Then I have uh, Juan Alberto. Juan Alberto? Yes, thank you. Kenia Vanessa? Kenia Vanessa? Then we have Kevin. Kevin Adrian. Present. Thank you, Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> María Emilia. Present, Miss. Thank you. Melba Patricia. Present, teacher. Thank you, Melba. Nevi. 
I'm here, Miss. Thank you, Nebi. Rafael Antonio. I'm present. Thank you, Rafael. Sandra Guadalupe. Present, Miss. Thank you so much. Then we have uh, Rebecca Vanessa. Rebecca Vanessa. Present. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rebecca. Then we have Sandra Margarita. Present. Thank you so much. Jacqueline Marioris. Jacqueline. And you did it. Present, Miss. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Okay. So we were there with WH. And here we continue with the conversation. Let's me play it here. Rebecca says, yes, okay. Okay, we have a similar conversation here than the previous one. So let's check it here. It says, we have a conversation between Tara and Victor. It says, so Victor, what do you do in your free time? Well, I really like sports. Cool. What sports do you like? My favorite sports are basketball, soccer, and tennis. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play them very often. What do you mean? I just watch them on TV. Similar than the previous one, right? Now, do yes. you have new vocabulary? Creo que la misma es. Just some details change. Solo algunos detalles cambian. For example, in this one, what do you mean? What is that? What do you mean? It's like, ¿a qué te refieres? What do you mean? What do you mean? La canción de Justin Bieber. Yes, like the popular song. That's correct. <laughs> okay, so we have that one, that conversation there. Now, let's ask, let's investigate here about the sports and different WH questions. So let's ask, Juan Alberto, tell me, what do you sport, uh, what sports do you like? Juan Alberto, Gabriel, yes. I like the, the soccer, the soccer. I like soccer, soccer. Nice, thank you. Now, Juan Alberto, you formulate the question to Aaron. You select any question. Seleccione cualquier pregunta. Select one. Aaron. When do you play football? Okay. When do you play football? Remember, football is this one, right? The American. Um, I play football. I play football in, in the morning. What was the question? Uh, when, right? It was cuando. when, right? When. Uh -huh, that's okay. It can be like a specific period in the in the day. That's good. Nice. Kevin, you formulate the question to Fernando. Fernando, who do you play tennis with? Mm -hmm, right. Fernando, are you here? Yes. I play tennis with my brother. Aha, uh -huh, okay. With your brother, that's nice. Let's see now, Nevi, formulate the questions to Evelyn. What sport do you play? Nice. I play um, soccer, basketball, and baseball. You're really a good athlete. <laughs> good, yes. nice, practice a lot. Very good, thank you. Sandra Margarita, now you ask Blanca. Blanca, how often do you practice soccer? Hmm. How often? The frequency. How often? Uh -huh. How often do you practice basketball? 
you say what sport do you mention i'm sorry soccer soccer thank you so how yeah. often do you practice soccer the frequency if it's every day or always you always sometimes never uh, puede ser never never okay so what is it i never i never mm -hmm. i never i never what continue I never practice. I never practice. Soccer. Soccer. <laughs> uh -huh, that will be that. Nice one. Okay, let's continue. Rebecca Vanessa. Are you here, Rebecca? Yes, miss. Yes, okay. Formulate the question to Judy, please. Judy, what do you, what sport do you play? Mm -hmm, okay, what sports do you play? I play basketball. Basketball, okay, nice. Elmer, now to Sandra Guadalupe. Who's writing? Hello? Sí, mis... Yes. Perdón. <laughs> Formulo la pregunta. Yes, please. Formulate the question. You are going to ask Alba Marisol. Okay. You select okay. the question. Who, who perdón. Eh, who, metro, who? Is this one? Uh -huh. who? who do you play soccer with? Very good. Who do you play soccer with? Alba? I play soccer with my children. That's all right. Excellent, guys. Really good. Okay, we got this form of questions. Now, we have the other exercise that, remember, is in, in the platform. And this one is with conversations. The first conversation, it says, I watch sports on television every weekend. Really? What sports do you like to watch? Soccer is my favorite. What will be the best option here? Do you usually watch soccer? The answer is on Sunday afternoon. So what is the WH? When. When, right? When, yeah, when, it's the when. best option. Exactly. Because here the answer is on Sunday afternoons. That's correct. So in this one will be when. What about the next one? Then it says, and do you usually what? watch it at home? Where? Exactly. Oh. Uh -huh, because they're put emphasis at home. So it's investigating. Where? And where do you usually watch it? At home? That will be in this case, right? Let's go ahead on next part. Another part here to see is about learn to sound natural when using can and can't. Let's use can't. Remember that this one eh, are modals. Estos son modales, but these modals express abilities. We have four pictures here that depending on the action. In picture number one, I can draw, puedo dibujar. So you express ability. Oh, I can draw. Number two, I can swim. Yeah. So I have the ability to swim. What about number three? What do you think is number three? I, I can, can take photo. Uh -huh. I can. I can take photos. I can, I can take photos. Uh -huh. I can take pictures. All right. That's correct. Good. I can take pictures so that's i have the ability to take pictures if Miss, you observe, what is the difference yes. entre pictures and photos when you talk about pictures this one is in general because you're talking about images pictures se refiere a imagen en general una imagen no necesariamente tiene que ser una foto de cámara okay puede ser incluso una imagen un dibujo 
Por ejemplo, este de acá. This one. Cuando ya se termina el dibujo, ya yeah, es a picture porque es una imagen. You can say image or picture. So that can be like that. And photo is because you have the camera, right? With your cell phone, with another device. So that's the difference with that. But a picture is in general. It's una imagen. What about the next one? Picture number four. What ability is that representing? I can, I can sing. sing. I can sing. No singer. Singer es la persona, cantante. Uh -huh. So this represents ability. So after can, después de can, que es un modal, modal auxiliar, va a llevar el verbo siempre en forma base, siempre. No importa cuál sea el sujeto. Aquí el verbo ya no me va a cambiar con una S porque es tercera persona. No, siempre va a ir porque es un modal. I can draw, I can swim, I can take pictures, I can sing. These are only introductory, but I have here other examples in this one, this part. This one is like the grammar part. What is the structure that we follow? Can for ability. Let's make it bigger. In the abilities, we have affirmative case. You say, I can sing very well. You can sing very well. She can sing very well. Let's see negative. He can't sing mm. at all. Él no puede cantar para nada. This is negative. He can't sing at all. Can't. Uh -huh. We can't sing at all. They can't sing at all. In the question, as the modal can is auxiliary, you need to change the position. The modal and the subject. Can you sing? Puedes cantar. Can you sing? Can I sing? Can she sing? Can he sing? Can we sing? Can they sing? Now, if it's affirmative, then you say, yes, I can. Yes, you can. Yes, she can. Negative. No, he can't. No, we can't. No. They can't. In a WH question, remember, investigate a specific information. For example, what can I do? ¿Qué Pregunta. puedo hacer? Yes, tell me. Que con las, con las terceras personas siempre va a ir... Facebook. Eh, can't. What do you mean? Con siempre la, va a ir... Sing. Va a ir como... Or, no. Base form. La forma Ajá, base. la segunda... Ajá, no. Este, que con las primeras va a ir Ken. O mm. no necesariamente. No, no, no. No, estos solo son ejemplos. Que cómo es, cómo se forma la manera afirmativa y como la negativa. Pero en todos los sujetos puede ir tanto Ken, si es afirmativa, y Kent como negativa. Eso puede ah. ir también. Like, I can't sing at all. Ah. You can't sing at all. We can't sing at all. They can't sing at all. Con todos los sujetos. Cuando sea la pregunta negativa, va a ir can't primero y después and, el... En the subject. La estructura va a ser la misma. Si fuera una pregunta negativa, no puedes nadar. Can't you ah, swim? Okay. Ajá. Ok. Thank you, Miss. So the modal is in negative. You're welcome. Teacher. Yes, tell me. En este caso, el significado de Ken, ¿cuál es? Poder, de poder hacer algo, de habilidad. Yo puedo nadar, yo puedo cantar, yo puedo cocinar. Representa habilidad. Y ya no necesito otro auxiliar, ya no va a ir. Eh, I can do play tennis, for example. Porque es único. Este es un modal auxiliar. Pero es para representar habilidad, algo que se puede hacer o que no se puede hacer. Y esto lo, 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 lo estamos tomando entonces como un auxiliar de pregunta. Pero también afirmativa y negativa. Es modal auxiliar, tanto afirmativa, negativa o preguntas. 
ya sea yes no questions or wh questions y en el caso de la pregunta siempre va a ir al principio ajá siempre que sea una pregunta de cualquiera que sea el tiempo siempre va a ir primero mi auxiliar si es una yes no question pero si es una wh question lo primero que va a ir es la wh words like what where what time who how often pero sí, debe de ir antes de el sujeto. En la pregunta debe de cambiar. En la afirmación, primero va sujeto y luego va mi auxiliar. Ok. Uh -huh. Thank you, miss. You're very welcome. So in the WH question will be, what can I do? ¿Qué puedo hacer? What can I do? You can sing. Who can sing? ¿Quién puede cantar? Who can sing? Becky can. Or Becky can sing. So it's to represent abilities, only abilities that we have. Now let's see and some examples here. Can and can't, we have affirmative and negative. Okay. Let's check here. We have four forms here, affirmative and negative, number one. And let's see, Santa Margarita, read the first one, please, in affirmative. The audio, the audio. Ajá. Repeat it, please. We didn't listen. No se escuchó, Sandra. I can. Ahora sí, ahora sí. Okay. I can cook. I can cook. Thank you. Nevi, continue. Negative. I cannot cook. Ajá. Good. That's good. You can use also in the negative complete, it will be cannot. Esa sería como la manera completa. Puede ser cannot y la contracción can't. 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 Ajá. This is the pronunciando the la T al final. Ajá. It's necessary. Porque si no se va a escuchar como afirmativa. Sería I can could es afirmativa y I Ajá. can't could Ajá. es negativa. It's negative. That's correct. Or I cannot. Esa es la manera I completa. I cannot. I cannot could. Yes. Tell me, Kevin. En algo que vi en la plataforma que explicaba lo que siempre aparece Ajá. era que lo podíamos pronunciar como can y can't con e. Ajá, exactly. Y así lo Ajá. podíamos separar. Exactly. La afirmativa y negativo. That is correct. That's why it says in the affirmative you can say can. In the negative, can't. Es como para poner eh, énfasis, porque si no lo vamos a como, porque sí, en realidad son confusas. En el momento de decirlas, eh, suena ah, bien hablar, similares. Los escuchan iguales. Ajá, entonces por eso es necesario que en la negativa pongamos énfasis en la T. Entonces, can't. Affirmative, I can. Negative, I can't. Or, I cannot. Si se nos dificulta un poco como la contracción en negativa, entonces podemos utilizar I cannot. Ahí está más que claro que es negativa. It's, I cannot cook. I cannot drive. I cannot swim, I cannot dance, or I can't. O marcar bien esa T. So it's necessary to put emphasis on the negative manner. So there we have, I can cook, I cannot cook, or I can't cook. Juan Alberto, continue with the number two, please. Affirmative. I can drive. I can drive. Thank you, Emilia. Negative. I can't drive. Very good job. That's nice. Rafael, number three, affirmative. I can swim. Very good. Aaron, negative. I can't swim. I, I can't. I can't swim. Swim. Very good. Blanca, number four, affirmative. I can dance. Very good. That's nice. Rebecca Vanessa. Negative. I can't dance. I can't. I can't dance. Dance. That's very good. Okay. What about this guy? Look, he's cooking. Tell me. In third person. He. I can't cook. Can't cook. About he. Third person. Third person. He can't cook. He can't cook. 
cook. He and... can't cook, right? Uh -huh. Now, we're using third person. He can't cook. See? Put emphasis on the letter T. He can't cook. Yeah? So, he does not have the ability to cook. He has problems in the kitchen. Now, let's check another exercise here that I got. In this part. We have six people here, and they are representing abilities or inabilities. Let's check the first one. They have their own names. The first one is Ben. And the example says, I can swim. That's what Ben says. What about Sarah? Glenn, Ken. I can. I can. <laughs> okay, very good. I can fix. That's good. Thank you. I can fix cars. What is fix? Arreglar. Arreglar, reparar. So you can like uh, also like a substitute with the bird repair. Yeah, that's right. Good. Judy, Judy edit. What about number three? I can't sing. Yeah, look at here. The woman here that is the copilot. My gosh, she doesn't like. <laughs> so I can't. I can't sing. Okay, now let's use here. We have Jeff, we have Lisa, and we have Megan. Let's use now in the third person. What about Jeff? Yeah. Emily? Jeff can, can. Okay, can't, right? Look, he has problems. So Jeff can't. Jeff can't. Jeff can't ice skate. That's all right, good one. Evelyn, what about number five? What about Lisa? Probably Lisa can play the piano. That's good. Lisa can. Now it's affirmative, right? Because yeah, it looks that she doesn't have a problem with the piano. So Lisa okay. can play the piano. All right, that's good. What about Megan? What can you tell me about Megan? Fernando? Megan can't cook. Definitely, right? <laughs> Megan can't cook. Look, she has a lot of difficulties, a lot of problems in the kitchen. Megan chamusca la comida. Megan chamusca. <laughs> yes. Megan can't. Teacher, mire, yes, y, en el caso, y en el caso de que hay algunas palabras Ajá. que, por ejemplo, nosotros utilizamos así como... Eh, no con doble sentido, sino que les hallamos dos, eh, como dos, como dos significados. Two meanings. Por ejemplo, eh, por ejemplo, en el caso de Jeff, eh, no podemos decir que se cayó, podemos decir eh, como lo, con lo común, se desmadró, o no sé. Pero What el... en, en, el caso de, en, en el caso del inglés no, no, no se da eso, ¿verdad? No very much, no se da mucho, porque como nosotros, en, bueno, en español tenemos un montón de maneras de decirlo, ¿verdad? Pero eh, generalmente para decir caerse es fall down, aunque hay expresiones idiomáticas también que se pueden utilizar, pero no para, para caerse. Fall, that's fall down, caerse. Ajá, se, uh -huh. se busca la palabra como más, como más adecuada. Ah, exactly. Ajá, porque a veces no hay como una traducción literal, porque ya es propia de nuestro idioma. Es pues que cuando no, cada... entienda, cuando no nos entiendan, cuando no nos entiendan, Jeff, cataplum. Cataplum, plum, plum. Sí, es que... <risa> I remember la chilindrina. <risa> cataplum. No, es que, es que, es que me, da, me, quedaba la, me quedaba la duda, porque como nosotros tradicionalmente Ajá. buscamos una palabra, asociamos una palabra... Yes. Y le damos doble significado. Ajá, uh -huh. yeah, that's correct. Yes, but they are idiomatic expressions. También hay expresiones idiomáticas. They are the idioms. Son los famosos idioms. Ajá. Okay. Uh -huh. Pero no, no en todos los casos se da, no en todas las acciones se, se puede sustituir con una expresión idiomática. Ok, thank For you, Miss. For example, Ms. you're welcome. For example, when you talk about a hang up. Eh, hang up, you can say hang up, eh, the boots. For us, hang up the boots, that means eh, if you translate it, 
colgar las botas. Para nosotros es como morir. Pero en inglés es retirarse. Retirarse de un empleo, jubilarse. Colgar los tenis. Colgar los tenis. Soy, acá para nosotros es morir. Pero allá es, es es, tiene otro contexto. <ríe> Any question, guys? No questions with Ken and Kent? No, Miss. No? Okay, we are going yo to continue una... then. Yes, tell me. Miss, yo tengo una pregunta, no, no de la clase, sino que de la plataforma. Mm -hmm. ¿Por qué será que, que estamos avanzando antes en la plataforma de terminar algunas clases? Porque ahora se nos pedía que teníamos que tener hasta las cinco. Pero uh -huh. había unas clases que no las, que no las han visto. Ajá, ajá. Uh -huh. Siempre Exacto. va a ser así. Fíjese que como esas ya son métricas que, que Insafor lo pide, que digamos usted puede avanzar en la plataforma hasta donde usted pueda, ¿verdad? Pero si digamos a, hay un tema en el que usted no puede avanzar porque no hemos visto el tema, pues es, es, es comprensible, ¿verdad? Pero a medida como usted pueda ir avanzando, pues se puede hacer, ¿verdad? Para que uh -huh. no se atrase. Ya son como lineamientos. Sí, ya, son, ya son lineamientos que, que ya tiene Insafor, que lo van pidiendo. Le comprendo. Thank you, Miss. Y ya después You're pensando, Miss, ahora ya también estoy hablando con Nevi y eso, yes. que aún me faltaba a mí este tema que completar. Ajá. Bueno, lo completar Por ejemplo, final, Ken Kent, no a lo pura visto. lógica. Ajá. Ah, pero después me acordé que Ay, también no. la vez que usted se enfermó, entonces nos atrasamos un día. Sí, nos atrasamos que tendría que haber días. sido... Ajá. Ah, correcto. No, pero sí. ese ese ya lo repusimos, lo repusimos el viernes pasado. El viernes. Entonces, ajá, no, sí. no nos perjudicaba no. porque viernes no, no tenemos no, clase. Ajá. No tenemos ah. tema trazado, de hecho. Porque ajá, lo pero, cubrimos no, el yo viernes. Yo creo que es por eso, mis, por los lineamientos es que, por, que ah, dan. Sí, mm. e ellos dan esas directrices en que si usted puede avanzar, pues ahí para que no se atrase también. Porque como sí, porque así lo dijeron que van a evaluar la nota también. Exacto, les requieren de un 80% semanal. Miss. Yes. Eh, no sé si solamente con nuestro grupo es, pero aún no nos han extendido los diplomas de primer. Eh. Aún no. Sin embargo, otro grupo. Ajá. Eh, sí, ya, dieron el ya primer... se los entregaron. Sí, porque yo sí. consulté hace dos semanas, de hecho. Recuerdan que les puse a ustedes el mensaje y que yo había consultado, creo que Judith um, había consultado también. Sí, sí Ajá, mis, de, hecho, que... yo, de hecho, perdón, yo escribí hoy al grupo de WhatsApp Ajá, preguntando sí, nuevamente sí, sí. por el certificado. Sí. Hacía la consulta, vaya, porque como ya les he comentado, yo estoy también en los cursos de Excel. Uh -huh. Ya terminé el básico y terminé el intermedio, lo terminé la semana anterior. Justo terminé un jueves y el viernes me mandaron mi certificado. Y con el módulo 1 de inglés, pues hasta el día de hoy, oh, no. desconozco si va a ser la misma, de, de la misma, eh, la misma dinámica, que ellos lo cargan eh, justo abajo de donde está el módulo en la plataforma, le aparece sí. a uno el certificado. Sí. Pero del módulo 1, en mi caso, no me ha aparecido. Nada. Y de hecho, en WhatsApp lo consulté, pero no me, no me comentaron también. nada. Uh -huh. A nadie le han entregado entonces, no, chicos. No, no, nadie. no. Nadie. Abandonados, mis no, bueno, voy a volver a preguntar porque si, eh, ajá, yo solo les mandé la captura, les envié la captura de lo que me contestó Paola, de hecho, y me dijo que esta semana lo, lo, se los iban a entregar, bueno, hace dos semanas, ¿verdad? <risa> que los podían ir a retirar a las oficinas o que también los iban a, a, a enviárselos, no sé si por correo o en la plataforma, pero les voy a volver a consultar. Nevi, hay que generar crisis, porque si no es así, no nos hacen caso. <risa> Le voy a no, consultar esa, de nuevo. Esa duda también tenía yo, mis, porque okay. sí, este, no nos habían dado respuesta así, este, Ajá. completa. Sí. Solo nos mencionaron que después de un determinado momento, cuando ya lo recibiéramos, podíamos ir en físico por el documento, pero ni en físico, mm. ni en virtual nos han dicho virtual. nada, no. Ajá. No, no nos han asegurado nada. Ok. Y si Pensé vamos que en físico, lo... Miss, ¿la podemos ver a usted? Eh, the problem is that I'm not there. El problema es que no paso ahí. Oh. Mm -hmm. Because I work in the morning. Trabajo de, en la mañana ah, todo el día. Ah. Ajá. Mm -hmm. It would be nice. 
ahora me pareció ver a uno de ustedes, ¿saben? En la te... ¿Alguien de ustedes trabaja en la tecnológica? Sandra, creo. Sandra Guadalupe, no. Vi una niña igualita. Sí, yo, yo me acordé de haberla visto usted, mija, ahora. ¿Verdad que sí? Ah, pues no me equivoqué. ¿Verdad que sí usted era? Será ella, dije yo, será... Sí, ah, y va no, a ver, la Sandra, para ¿Sí ver si la es vi? cierto. ¿Es usted mi? Dígale. Eh, ¿Es usted? ¿Are you? ¿Is that you? <risa> ah, pues sí. Ya ven. Tengo buena memoria. Adivina la identidad. Ajá. <risa> ¿Usted trabaja en la tecnológica, Miss? No, yo no trabajo ahí, pero eh, la parada de bus, yo vivo cerca. Entonces, para tomar el bus, tengo que caminar ¿Qué ir a todo eso. Ah. Ajá. Mm. Porque yo trabajo en Academia Europea en el ah, día. Entonces, ahí por ahí voy a tomar el bus que hacer, para, lleva, para metro. Uh -huh. Ah, pues sí, no me equivoqué. Yo dije, ¿será parecida? Sí, ah, iba a ir a la 101 ve para mi trabajo. Iba a ah, yo pensé que uh -huh. iba a estudiar a la Tecno. No a trabajar yo. Ah, ok. Sí, <ríe> ah, ok. Es good, y me ¿eh? ve mis, tóqueme, Pero porque soy yo soy you. choca en la calle, oiga. Ok. <risa> si no andan con mascarilla, como yo, yo ando con mascarilla, entonces. Sí lo voy a reconocer si no andan con mascarilla. <risa> All right, guys. Then I'm going to ask about your certificates. Voy a preguntar de nuevo por sus certificados. Okay. Please, miss. Yes, I will do it. Thank you so much, then. Thank you, Miss, for coming. Happy Day of Independence. Happy Independence Day. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank Enjoy you, the too. holiday. Okay. Hasta el lunes, ¿verdad? Yes, on, Sun, uh, on Monday, yes. Y el yeah. lunes, eh, oh, esta semana es la última del módulo, ya, Miss. Ajá, imagine. So fast. Qué rápido. Bien rápido. ¿Sí? The time flies. El tiempo, güey. Bueno. Como el rayo McQueen. Ajá, exactly. Es que exactly, me hizo una, like una última pregunta. Yes, tell me, Juan. Va que hasta el día de mañana tenemos para enviar la otra ficha de inscripción para el tercer módulo. Se hasta supone. Ahora era. Ajá, bien dado hasta ahora, pero a veces dan hasta el viernes. <ríe> y si es okay. feriado, pero usted manda la compañero, no pierdan la fe. Envíala, de todos modos ya la van a tener. Es que digital sí la llené y todo, ¿verdad? Pero como siempre piden que la envíen digital y, y ¿Sí? presta, escaneada. Ajá, sí, la, la piden así también. So do it that way. All right, guys. Enjoy your weekend. Okay. Enjoy it. Enjoy Independence Day. Go, go to watch the, the cachiporras. Go to watch the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. your work <laughs> all right have sweet dreams thank you thank so much you. for thank everything you. Thank you. take night. care sweet dreams good night. have a good night see you good on night. monday have a good night take care see you later. i'll see you later